Which one is the yeah, hardest yeah. out of the three? Google, out of, out Google of the three, um, I think it was uh, Google was the hardest, mm -hmm. then Uber, then Snap. And I think part of that was mm -hmm. also the composition. Uh, so Google had, I used uh, a line that, so there's this guy called Haseeb, and he writes, like, he wrote this blog post about, like, negotiating. Mm -hmm. um, and he says, like, before we continue our video, I just want to say that we are sponsored by Hostinger today. Hostinger offers web hosting services that is extremely easy to use with a great user experience. And also, they are the fastest web hosting provider in the industry. Now, the onboarding experience really shows you how easy you can set up your website since they show you step by step how to create your website and guide you through the process so you can deploy your websites in minutes. So they are a LAMP stack hosting service, so you can easily set up WordPress websites or choose one of their templates. You can also write your own PHP code if you want, and all you have to do is FTP it into their servers. You can also use their UI, so you don't need to use your own FPT clients, which is very, very convenient. All in all, I would recommend Hostinger if you want to host a blog or a static website since it's super affordable. You know, it starts at $0.8, so 80 cents a month for an all-in-one web hosting and domain name. And you can set up in just under two minutes with their services. So if you want to make your resume stronger and looking to host your personal project, Hostinger might be for you. And good news, if you're interested, click on the description down below and you get 15% off your purchase. Break it down to like detailed steps again. So let's yep. do Uber, like screw Facebook because yep. it's data engineer. So, okay. So when did you start to decide like, okay, I'm gonna switch jobs mm -hmm. and then like, what'd you do? How many questions did you do? Yeah. And then what'd you do like before Uber, blah, blah, blah. Right, like, right. like, sorry, before the interview. Yeah. And like, yeah, let, let's just talk through yeah, the timeline. So from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think it was around the summer of last year, 2018, where I first started thinking about it. Mm -hmm. um, so first I did explore transferring internally, but there was no like headcount. Me too. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so, so then I started like writing up a rough plan. Um, and then um, I was start, I was kind of studying, but like not really seriously. Uh, mm -hmm. So not every day, like in um, probably like July and August. Um, okay. And then I think I got a call from a Google recruiter um, and they, since I had interviewed with them before, yeah. they um, let me go straight to an onsite. Yeah. And so that was when I scheduled it out like, uh, like um, almost two months out. Um, and so since I was already studying for Google, I thought I might as well apply for like as many companies as possible. Mm. So I applied or like replied to like around 20 companies. Um, 20 companies? Yeah. Ooh, wow. um, and then so I just made a post about this. I had all the numbers in my head. But yeah. basically <laughs> out of those 20, I had like 11 phone screens. Uh -huh. um, and then out of those 11 phone screens, I like passed uh, eight of them. And then I decided to do on sites with six. Mm. Um, and, uh, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. I like that funnel. My yeah. funnel looks totally different. <laughs> Mine was, um, Uber, <laughs> yeah. which rejected me in under 20, like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now yes. Uber rejected me for a different team. Oh, before, really? yeah. Uh, before so so, so you different. apply for teams, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just for context, I asked Cyrus to refer me to Uber and then within five minutes they said, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. They didn't even call you. That was so like, sad. Yeah. But yeah. And then, and then I also applied to two other companies. Um, I guess I'm not super comfortable sharing just because I own this YouTube channel, but basically yeah. it's two big companies and yeah. So then, and then I did two phone screen and then two onsite and then two offers. Mm -hmm. So nice. hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. Except for Uber, but yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I yeah. knew I wanted to do, um, to get like mm. a lot of onsites for practice. Mm. Um, oh, that's true. And that then I sense. also wanted it for yeah. negotiation. I, I got fucking lucky, you know, because, because, <laughs> um, yeah, cause I went to like, I'll just blur it out. You know, when I went to, that was like my first onsite and uh -huh. I'm like, oh, thank God I got it. But yeah. Nice. But uh, I also actually had a call with does something different. Uh -huh. They make you do a coding challenge. Oh, I didn't and, have um, that. And yeah. I, I just Googled the coding challenge and I found it and I just, <laughs> oh <my shit. laughs> I just fucking copy pasted it and it was totally fine. Actually, and I remember it. Um, I like borderline fell with the first phone uh -huh. screen, so they gave me a they second actually, phone they screen. They actually gave you a phone screen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I shit. didn't get the challenge. Yeah. Dude, it was so easy. It yeah. was like they gave me the challenge. I, I just like, Damn, I copied the question, I pasted it, and there was a Chinese website. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just copied Classic. it. No, yeah, yeah, I got, I actually, I remember the phone interview is one of the hardest. They, mm -hmm. I, get, I got a late code hard. Um, <gasps> and then I barely got it, and uh -huh. I got a second phone screen because I was borderline. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. At least they're nice. Yeah. yeah. And I heard like, an, an they um they do a lot of like 
cultural interviews because oh, they yeah, care about that too. a lot. Yeah. But, but yeah, and I heard yeah. they pay very well too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, anyways, so after you did your onsite and all of them, um, yeah, so, so which were the onsites that you did again? So, okay, I, so I had six on sites. Mm -hmm. uh, so three of them were Google, Uber, and Snap, mm -hmm. um, and then three others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so yeah. So Uber was it like uh, the code hard, the code medium versus Snap? Which one was hardest yeah, yeah. out of the three? Google, out of, out Uber of the three, Snap. Um, I think it was uh, Google was the hardest, mm -hmm. then Uber, then Snap. And I think part of that was mm -hmm. also the composition. Uh, so Google had uh, like all five rounds um, mm -hmm. were coding, like data structures and algorithms, whereas Uber had um, they had a system design round and they mm -hmm. had a behavior round mm -hmm. and then I think same with snap and I had like actually study a lot with uh, system design because I really wanted uh, like a more senior level um, so because Google is like all five coding mm -hmm. I was like it was I was pretty exhausted by the end yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so I also I also had like similar experience with a company I also had five <laughs> five algo rounds um, like I, I think I got lucky because because you know it's either you know or you don't. Like once, right. like there's always a trick to these algo mm -hmm. questions, mm -hmm. you know. And then yeah, so then that one it was fine. I did it. And then for the other company, it was like two coding rounds. And then wow. was it three? Yeah, it was two coding round, three system design, three and system then one design? like behavior or like leadership yeah. or whatever yeah. that's called. And yeah, it was fucking long. Holy crap! I think it literally took from like nine to like five. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the system design, I used the grokking the the inner. Yeah, rocking, rocking the rocking system, system design yeah, interview. Yeah, yeah. rocking the system yeah. design interview. Um, yeah, I paid for that, uh -huh. but uh, I realized like, like every case they have, they always say the same thing. They do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. I was like, oh. it's, but, it's but not, I, I guess yeah. it's repetitions. Yeah. But it yeah. actually only helped me with one question because like the system design question at that company, uh -huh. it's not always like oh you know build uh -huh. whatever. Right. Sometimes they ask you something specific. Like for example, I think once they said like oh you know you have this memory space, you get right. like blah blah blah. Well, how should you like format the memory so that right. it's efficient? Blah blah blah. Or you or you have like a buffer and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And that was annoying because I remember like when I was uh, when I was doing it. You know, at one point I was doing it and then he's like, okay, I'll stop you over here because, you know, it took you longer than most people. <laughs> yeah, I was oh, like, damn. fuck. No, I feel, I, yeah, I feel like system design is so broad yeah, that yeah. like, yeah, mm -hmm. they can go, if, especially if it's a specific team, uh -huh. right, they can go really yeah, low. It was level. lame because yeah. like, yeah, it was like a data infrastructure position yeah. and I didn't even want to do data infrastructure, but they, they didn't have any position yeah. for like apps or whatever. Right, right. Yeah, anyway, so, uh, and then you got offers from Google, Snap, and Uber, and then, yeah. why did you choose Uber? Yeah, so, so yeah, so I got offers from five of the six, and then the three in serious contention were Google, Uber, and Snap, mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I ended up choosing uh, Uber because, well, first of all, Google gave me a pretty low offer, um, so they're notorious for down-leveling. Uh, and then Uber and Snap. Because they know your true work, bro. <laughs> no and uh, no, I, I kind of expected it because I bombed like uh, one of the questions on the Google. Does that interview. actually matter? Uh, I think it does. Because like, I, mm. yeah, because I did, I did really well on the Uber and Snap offer uh, okay. in on sites, and I got like, um, like top of the range for the level mm. offers. Um, so they, the numbers are a lot higher than with Google. Were the offers already top, or was it because you negotiated? Uh, they were already top. Yeah. So oh. actually. Yeah. Uh, okay. So actually, with both Google, uh, with both Uber and Snap, um, the offers were like the base and uh -huh. uh, equity were already maxed out. Uh -huh. um, and I think part of that was I had actually done some like pre-negotiation. Like I had like set it up so that they knew that they would be competing with all these other companies. Uh, so like both Uber and Snap recruiters knew that I had a Google onsite. Um, and then like I think that's one thing. Like you don't like you can tell recruiters about upcoming onsites, especially if they seem like kind of impressive, mm. um, even if you aren't sure if you're gonna pass it. Um, and then once, uh, like even before they gave me the numbers, I had already told them what I was expecting and like the other company's offers. Um, so yeah, I got, a, I got a pretty high initial offer. Okay, okay. Let, let's just like dig into more to this like TC negotiation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, in case you guys don't know what TC is, it's total compensation. Right. If you go on blind, you wouldn't know what TC, you know. So TC, how did you like, um, was it already at the max, the TC? Yeah, so yeah, so with TC, I think, uh, it's, uh, I think the most important thing mm -hmm. is knowing how much you're worth. And I think mm -hmm. the, yeah, so like you said, blind is really good for getting that mm -hmm. an idea. And also um, that will start FYI. Mm -hmm. You can see like specific offers at each level. Mm -hmm. um, so I already knew kind of the like max range. Mm -hmm. um, and then 
I knew that I didn't really care if it was like, I, I didn't really care how the offer components were broken up. Mm -hmm. So like if I could get, uh, what are the components? The components are like uh, base, equity, bonus, and then sign-on bonus. Mm -hmm. um, and so I didn't really care how they split it up. Like if I wanted like 20K more, I didn't care if it was like, like sign on versus base because mm -hmm. uh, usually companies don't negotiate base mm -hmm. as much so yeah mm -hmm. so let's go back to like exactly what happened so which offer did you get first um i think i got i got snap. i got snap first okay snap yeah. and then and then they gave you an offer did you negotiate them uh yes i think yeah i think i negotiated i actually i think with snap they did raise mm -hmm. the equity no okay. um, just a little bit mm -hmm. um and then it became the max and then mm -hmm. uh but yeah I, I had already told so another thing that's important i had told all these recruiters that it was going to take a while mm -hmm. so they didn't try to pressure me by saying like you only have three days to decide um and i think you'll see this in blog posts but basically like never accept that um like usually they're just bluffing and if they aren't bluffing it's probably not a company you want to work for uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah but yeah, so yeah, so I um, uh, I told them it sounded good, but I'll think about it. Um, and also negotiation, you don't want to be like it's not like a adversarial thing. It's kind of like you're trying to find something that's a good deal for both of you. Uh, so yeah, so I told them it sounds good, but I need time to think about it. Um, I'll let you know when I get like other numbers. Yeah. Okay. And then then you got Uber. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then was it higher than Snap? Uh, well, actually, so actually, before I got Uber, I had already gotten, uh, so I guess the company is D&E. Um, mm -hmm. So I had gotten like an offer from company D that was a bit weaker in total compensation, but the base salary was like significantly higher, actually. And so I was able to use that to say like, um, based on this, can you guys raise your equity? Uh, and so that's one thing where like, even if another company's offer is on the whole, like weaker, you can take a specific component and say, you know, like, I, you know, I rally, really value liquid, liquidity right now or like consistent, like uh, steady state salary. And so based on that, you know, can you guys uh, improve your offer? So, yeah. Okay. And then you improved your Snap offer and then you got your Uber offer. Yes. And was the Uber offer higher than Snap? Uh, so it was, it was roughly equivalent. Mm -hmm. um, and so Uber, the recruiter, like I already knew exactly what the Snap offer was going to be. Um, and yeah so it was roughly equivalent but it's, it's hard to compare because uber is a private company uh whereas yeah. snap is public right mm -hmm. and so i i was pretty confident that uber uh was going to ipo um this year um which i think to, will turn out to be true and then, <laughs> uh, and then but then like yeah snap is like um public and their equity vests every month uh so it's a lot more a lot a lot lower risk but also at the same time like pretty high risk too because snap wasn't doing that well yeah yeah uh so yeah i had to come up with my own way of comparing the two okay yeah. and, and did uber increase their offer because of your snap offer uh yes okay. uh, so actually yeah so the um well they it was already at the max and so i knew that the main thing i could improve on was signing bonus uh, so i went on blind did some searching to see if like it was possible um and then i eventually like pushed for certain signing bonus and um i used uh, a, a line that so there's this guy called Hasib, and he writes like he wrote this blog post about like negotiating uh -huh. um and he says like uh so you have this long timeline you have these comp companies competing for you so yeah. at the very end uh, the final like strategy you should use is like, because right now your leverage is that you have these other companies and you have time in your hand uh, as an element. Uh, and so if you give away that time advantage, then you can like get something back for it. And so basically the way you do that is you say, um, I can, I'll sign right now, like basically end the process with everybody else if you guys give me, you know, like 25K more. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, yeah, and then usually they want to like get it, they close the deal right away. So yeah. Interesting. So you got a little bit upper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the end, what was the TC for like Snap, Uber, and like Google? Yeah, so it, de it depends on how you calculate it, but basically around 300K for Snap and Uber, and then for Google, about like 240K. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. So 300K for like Snap and Uber. And yeah. oh yeah, what level is that? L4. L4, wow, yeah. wow. And that's pretty much at the top. Yeah, it's pretty much at the top. Yeah. Damn. Okay.